Now, with the devastating flooding that's poised to hit the Gulf Coast of Texas, residents here in New Jersey are having flashbacks, being reminded of the devastation caused by Superstorm Sandy. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is live in Brigantine with a report on the long-lasting impacts that Superstorm Sandy caused in that area. Cleve. Yeah, of course, whenever we talk a big storm at the Jersey Shore, it always comes back to Sandy, whose effects still linger to this day. And so we asked, how are we better prepared in recent years for the next big storm? It's been a mess for a lot of people. In some shore neighborhoods hit hard by Superstorm Sandy, the recovery isn't over. I'm still working on things. Uh, how many years later? Almost five years later. About 400 homes and businesses in Brigantine suffered substantial damage from Sandy. And as some people are constantly reminded of the past, they also wonder about the future. What if another major storm came, like Hurricane Harvey slamming Texas? It would be devastating. Brigantine Mayor Phil Gunther says there's no mincing words. A Category 2 or larger hurricane would be a disaster. But they have done millions of dollars in safety improvements since Sandy, like new stormwater pumps to drain roads and hire bulkheads to prevent bay flooding. And around town, almost 200 homes have been raised to much taller elevation standards. Elevation is, is um, the best protection, obviously, against flooding. And uh, as I've said, we've embarked on um, the mitigation projects, which is uh, pumping and uh, bulkheading. Atlantic County is also better prepared since Sandy, using grants to stockpile emergency supplies. This one here is a medical needs shelter. It has cots that we can actually put individuals on. If we have to hang IVs, we can hang IVs. Officials in Atlanta County say 13 and a half inches is the most rain they've ever dealt with, but they're prepared for much worse. Using flood prediction maps like this one from NOAA, they can try to predict how bad it would flood in a category two, three, or four hurricane. It helps in ordering evacuations and mobilizing equipment. How ready would we be for a Texas-like storm? Are we prepared to respond? We will, and we'll respond as best as we can. But again, there's there's still that uh, that unknown, and for us, that's what makes the job a little difficult is the unknown. Um, but we're going to do what we have to do. So local leaders told us what they've learned since Sandy, but they said there's something that all of us can learn is to make sure that they we all heed those evacuation orders because places like here in Brigantine, it can take more than a day to evacuate if there's a major storm. Live in Brigantine, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Oh, Cleve, thank you so much.